You know, on several occasions, we've come over here to Ocean Springs to visit with Dr. Barmada at the Spring of Youth Center behind the Ocean Springs Hospital and all the wonderful things that he does here. How are you, Dr. Barmada? It's good to see you as always. It's my pleasure. I know you stay busy, but uh, you you do several different things here at the Spring of Youth. We do, but they're all centered about health, uh, vascular uh, health, uh, stem cells, uh, rejuvenation, uh, this kind of uh, thing making people look more beautiful. Making them look, and that, bringing that youth back. Youth back. Healthy, youthful. That's the important thing. Instead Absolutely. of, uh, um, you know, d- just uh, taking shortcuts like, you know, I don't, I don't know, it's just people are looking for that fountain of youth. And there are things in their very own bodies that can help them find that, right? Absolutely. Absolutely. In fact, this is, you've hit the nail on the head because... Uh, uh, really, we do have our own cure inside our bodies. Mm-hmm. You know, stem cells are um, part and parcel of our bodies, and they are with us as long as we're alive. And they are there for rejuvenation and repair of whatever goes wrong. And except they just need a little help mm-hmm. to be put in the right place. Now, um, we're going to talk to a gentleman that uh, has had some tremendous success with, uh, with you treating him with his own stem cells. So let's talk to him next. Now, Bob Blackborn has got a r- tremendous success story with uh, your results with stem cells. Bob, how are you? Uh, nice to meet you, you, sir. Thank you. You were having problems with your shoulder. Yes, I... Um, you went to an I orthopedic surgeon? I went uh, to an orthopedic surgeon. surgeon. I thought it was arthritis. And mm-hmm. um, he said, no, you have a, uh, a torn rotator cuff. Ligaments are torn. Ooh. And uh, so he gave me some uh, steroid shots and uh, said, come back, see me in three months. Okay, well, six weeks later, it was hurting again. Scale of one to ten, it was a ten. Yeah, and you can't keep taking steroid can't shots right keep out of the other. keep taking steroid shots. So he said, take some ibuprofen. Okay, took ibuprofen. Well, turns out ibuprofen was tearing the kidneys up. So that was not good. Um, so I took Tylenol, went back and the end of the three months, had another steroid shot, same thing again, six weeks, it's hurting again. I said, I can't go on like this. No, no. So I got online, did some research, and I found out about the stem cell procedure. Mm-hmm. I said, that sounds interesting. So I made an appointment, uh, came to see Dr. Bamada. And I understood that, you know, he explained how it worked and that, how it makes the, uh, the stem cells make the, the ligaments heal. Right. And, and I said, well, probably going to take a few months for that to heal. So I guess I'll just take some Tylenol in the, in the meantime. Well, uh, I had the procedure done. That night I took some Tylenol. The next day, hmm, not hurting. Uh, too bad. I, I think I took one Tylenol. Day after that, not hurting. Hasn't hurt since. Hasn't hurt since. Hasn't hurt since. And that was in what four months ago. That was in November. Wow. Uh, now, when I say it hasn't hurt, it's it occasionally hurts a little bit when mm-hmm. I've been laying on in bed on one side. Right. Sure. Just enough to know that it's still there. Mm-hmm. And mm-hmm. during the daytime, uh, it'll, it's just a it's an, more of an awareness. It's not pain. It's just right. not like you an have. awareness. So I know not to do anything dumb, like lift can't, anything can't too get heavy. Back on that tennis circuit anytime too soon. Will you? No, no, <laughs> give up that. But no, it, it's been wonderful. I, I was really amazed at how fast it worked. That's awesome. And uh, it's it's been great. It's been great for so, you. Yeah. Been great for you. Yeah. We're going to talk to Dr. Barmada again now and find out more about exactly how this amazing stem cell works. Amazing story. Absolutely. And Bob looks great for 80 years old. 80 years old. That's amazing. I hope I look that good when I'm, at, when I'm 80 years old. Tell us exactly, Dr. Barmada, how do you do, how do you treat with stem cells? How does that go? Well, basically... Obviously, we have to get a complete diagnosis. I look at all the x-rays and results and, you know, imaging and all that stuff. Then I do my own ultrasound 
uh, and I make sure that the diagnosis is correct. And then we uh, target that region, whether it be uh, shoulder or hip or knee or ankle uh, or even wrist. Mm -hmm. uh, we get uh, the whole spectrum. And we basically harvest about two ounces of fat from the waistline. And then we get the stem cells out of that, which takes about an hour and a half. And then we give it back to the patient. So we give some intravenously uh, through a very, very fine uh, microfilter, which is a 100 micron filter, which is even smaller than the one you use to give blood. Uh, so there's no chance whatsoever of any embolization. Mm -hmm. And uh, because some people um, raise concerns about that. And the other thing, of course, which is incredibly important, uh, is that we target that joint itself with some of that uh, uh, tissue juice, basically, mm -hmm. that's what it is. It's uh, tissue soup or juice, which is extremely rich in stem cells. And it, uh, it starts rejuvenating and rebuilding and repairing? Absolutely. The purpose, the purpose of the um, uh, uh, stem cells and the stromal vascular fraction is that it's anti-inflammatory, very potent anti-inflammatory agent. It is, it is, it is immunoregulatory. In other words, it will reboot your immune system for autoimmune disease and things like that. It's incredibly good. And, and also, it will rejuvenate. So all the stem cells will actually go and uh, park themselves where there, are, uh, there is destruction of cartilage, and they, they'll form new cartilage and new tendons, as mm -hmm. happened with uh, um, Mr. Blackburn. Now, do you use it just in joints? I mean, uh, he, he used it his, his shoulder. Okay, I guess you use elbows, knees, Absolutely. Any, any joint, any pain, even backs, you know, we, we... Really? Absolutely. When we give them in the blood, they find their way to wherever there is mischief. And there's a lot of evidence for that, research evidence and all that. That's what we do here. We do a lot of research. Mm -hmm. uh, so really, it's, it's, uh, it's amazing. We also use another modality. Mm -hmm. uh, which is called EPAT, which is uh, shock wave or pressure waves, which I used also on Mr. Blackburn, to actually attract the stem cells even more to the site of mischief. Wow, that's amazing. Mm -hmm. I mean, it just uh, I, it's the different stuff that I've learned from you uh, here and after all these you know, all the years of doing this has been quite amazing. Dr. Barmada, thank you so much thank you. for all thank this. You. you know, again, if you'd like some more information on this, you can go online. Um, uh, to the website and find some more information or give them a call. Set up an appointment for a consult and come in and talk to them. Their office is located behind the Ocean Springs Hospital in Ocean Springs, but it's called the Spring of Youth. You need to get a little bit about a spring back in your life, give them a call here.